What's going on guys? T-Mart here and guess what? It has been confirmed that there will be soldiers in the next Call of Duty game. Wow, mind blown. You guys heard it here first. I am your number one source for all Call of Duty news and info. And I am just kidding, guys. But today is actually a pretty big deal because today we got our very first image revealed from the next Call of Duty game. Now I'm warning you, it doesn't give us much information. And that's why I was being uh, a little bit sarcastic there at the start. But this is it right here. It comes from IGN. And as you can see, it's just a soldier in the foreground and then another soldier in the background but we can actually learn a little bit about this thing from this image so so far we know nothing about this game we don't know if it's modern warfare 4 we don't know if it's something else we don't have a clue what time it's in you know it could be in prehistoric times fighting dinosaurs for all we know but this image actually does give us a little bit of a clue so uh, if you look on the soldier in the foreground you can see the clasp on his helmet that's holding those two nylon straps together is plastic. It's one of those plastic clasps you see on everything from a soldier's helmet to a football helmet to uh, a bike helmet that you can buy from Walmart. You know, you see those all over the place now and those are a more recent invention. Like those wouldn't be seen on like a World War II or a World War I helmet or something like that. Like those are, are, are truly kind of more of a modern thing that came about recently and that kind of implies that this soldier and the game in general will be from modern times. You know, sometime in the, the, the very uh, near past, you know, the past couple of years, maybe 10 years back, 15 years back, and then, you know, we've got modern times and then maybe it might inch a little bit into the near future, kind of like Black Black Ops 2 did, but for the most part, it implies that we're going to be somewhere around this current, you know, kind of like modern time. So, so that's kind of cool that we know about when this thing is going to take place, even though we don't know the exact name and the exact setting and things like that yet. And, and then also just kind of a, another little thing that I noticed is the the little scar up next to his eye that looks like a, uh, a chicken pox scar. And as you guys know, chicken pox was a really big deal with the generation before us, and it's not as big of a deal for our generation. You know, we have vaccines and stuff now. You can still get it, but it's just a, it's not nearly as widespread and not nearly as much of a problem so uh, again that kind of shows that it's not going to be too far into the future you know because he's got the chicken box scar and you know eventually we'll probably even have a cure for that i'm not sure and it shows that it's not too far in the past because he's got this you know plastic clasp on his helmet that didn't even exist back then so it's got to be somewhere around this time period that we're currently in so that's kind of cool that we're, we're able to deduct that from this picture but you know apart from that it doesn't really give us all that much. You know, the, the reason that this picture is so exciting and so cool is not from what it tells us, but from what it tells us is coming. Like we're finally at this part of the year where the doors are about to be open. Like the, the, the floodgates are about to be raised and we're about to get a ton of information, both official stuff from like the developer Sledgehammer and Activision and things like that. And then also unofficial stuff, leaks, fake leaks, all kinds of stuff. That time of the year is finally here and that's exciting. Man, I really like this time of the year. Like, don't get me wrong, I love playing the game, I love release, I love the, the months after release, things like that. Like, that's obviously great. But one of the most fun times that I feel for this community is, is when we're trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together and figure out what's going on with all these, like, very vague leaks and images that we have to decipher and, you know, cryptic sayings that we have to figure out what these devs are trying to do and, like, things like that. Like, I don't know. I just, I think it's really fun. I really enjoy trying to piece it together with you guys. I'm a huge fan of the series and trying to figure out what we're going to be playing for the next year of our lives is kind of an exciting thing for me every year. So, uh, yeah, we're right around the corner from that. I would probably say here in the next, like, maybe two or three weeks, something like that, is when we're really going to start getting some stuff. Like I said, both officially from, like, Sledgehammer, and then also, you know, stores will start leaking stuff, images will be leaked, posters will be leaked, that kind of thing. Like, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting, man. We're finally to that part of the year. So, uh, yeah, I just want to let you guys know. Let me know what you guys think about it. Where would you like to see... Call of Duty go next year. Do you want to see a Modern Warfare 4? Do you want to see it kind of continue on uh, where it's been going in the in the Modern Warfare series? Or do you want to see a new set of characters, a new cast, a new setting, and, and see it take a totally different turn and a totally different storyline? Let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out the other two videos if you haven't seen yet. I posted like three other videos today, so make sure you guys didn't miss those. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.